Hey guys, this is the Promoting HD, and this is a video on Wizard 101 how to get basically free gold. It takes like it's easier for a little higher levels, but works for any level uh, as long as you have Grizzleheim unlocked and have Vesterlund almost fully completed. You will be able to farm Hafeng, which drops almost. Uh, I think it's I think King's allows it. It's the best items in the game that the best selling worth of items in the game. Uh, the best thing to do is mark the location. Uh, this is where it is in Vesterland. I'm going to show you, and I'm going to do three runs just to show you how fast the runs are and how much gold you get in little time. Uh, this is a very known place. Uh, a bunch of people know it. I'm going to check if my deck is set up right. It is not. Uh, best thing to have is a separate deck for farming. Uh, this is what I usually use. Uh, I'm going to take out the Sadars. Just I used this a little earlier. Uh, I usually have four meteors. And then I usually have four uh, called Colossals and then two Blades. Uh, just open, just go into the battle. Uh, they usually take about two minutes max, maybe a, probably a minute to finish the battle. And then if you guys want to know what my stats are, what my setup is, I have a video on that. So stay tuned for that. Uh, this place is really good for my setup that I had. It's 93 resistance to storm, so it's really fun. Uh, this is how fast it goes. I'm going to do three of these and then we can go accumulate the gold by selling in the bazaar. So you get lucky if you attack first and this was not a good starting out. So I'm going to, I hopefully he doesn't get a power pip. Uh, the, what is it called? The myth one does earthquake which gets annoying. Uh, the storm does use like storm yellow and stuff and then storm lord. But it's okay if you have the storm resist out that I have. Um, so, basically what he drops is a bunch of the bears stuff that gives like pet mana, which sells about uh, 3,000 something in the, in the, uh, in the bazaar. His, uh, the things you get here can sell from 2,500 to 8,000 depending on what you get. There is a amulet that is called Cow's Pearls Amulet, which is goes for about, uh, I'd say, 8,200 gold, something like that. Uh, and then there's a there's a robe that goes for like 4,000. There's a wand that goes for like 4,000. Everything here goes for a good amount. Uh, you're going to want to have a good critical rating and a good damage rating here because the bosses, these bosses are easy for higher levels, but you can get them done a lot faster. Uh, they did seem to nerf the drop rate. It only drops like one or two items if you have one person. Better if you have more people. Um, apparently someone is going in. Let's go in with them just to see. Uh, just to see how how much better it is. As you can see, a lot of people do go here. There was like five people waiting outside. So this is a common lane. It's like not not a secret place. A lot of people do it. So it's good to get into it. And this is where I go when I'm farming for gold, like to buy a house or something. I always go here, always. And this guy is Storm, I'm guessing. Yeah, he's Storm. Uh, right now I have about 200 and something thousand gold. I usually stick around 300,000 and spend about 100,000 maybe somewhere in the nays get it again so this place is fairly easy as you can see like a meter strike without a critical and a colossal can do about a thousand and it basically kills them so let's hope this guy hits him shouldn't be hard uh if he doesn't then i'm going to kill the minion whatever that coven gloom thing is hit bro hit or i'm going to use it here okay there we go he probably killed him as you can see baby, he has shadow magic i don't have shadow magic i don't feel like you're in the eclipse towers or whatever they're called the, yeah, the Eclipse Towers. And then, um, they're supposedly hard. I, I heard there's like three of them, but then someone told me there's only two bosses. So I don't know. Oh well. Uh, this is the second farm. We're gonna do one more and then show you what it's kind of like. As you can see, you can get a, you get a couple that are, you get a little more stuff with more people. Not much, but this one you get about, we're probably gonna get about eight to ten thousand in under three minutes, five minutes, I think. It's very, 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 very good farming section. If you go with four people, you can get eight items per drop per per minute. It's very, very good. But if you're just anxious to get gold, go by yourself. It's very easy. And you get about 3,000, 4,000 per minute. So I'm saying this is probably the best place to farm for gold or items. If you're in the 50s levels, so you're in the 55s and above, this is a good place to farm for items. If you're not in the 80s and stuff or like very high level, because they drop like level 52 items and level 56 items. So if you have a friend that needs items, just bring it here. It's a pain in the ass for Storm though, because the boss is Storm and he Storm Lords a lot and you have to bring your converts. So I recommend doing this on a different character than Storm and Myth. 
Uh, if you have multiple characters, which I do, I have a fire and ice and a life. So, yep, hope that critical. They're critical, of course. Yeah, oh well. And people who are wondering where I get my fog staff, you have to get these either from competitions, contests, or King's Isle themselves. They do not drop them anymore. Uh, and they do not get them from Beckett on massive online gaming magazines as those are discontinued, as I believe. I don't know, could be wrong. If you guys, if I am, tell me. Uh, the Be Beckett's used to be around from 2009 to like 2011, I think, and then they just stopped selling them. I don't know why, they had really good codes. Sorry about all my wands and storage. They had this one called the Umbral Blade, which is one of my favorites. It's a black blade that has a purple glowing diamond in it. It's pretty cool. And then they had the staff that was like, was the Umbra staff, I think? Umbra, something like that. It was just like the Fog staff, except it was black and it had a purple crystal instead of this blue foggy one. Uh, I tend to like this Fog staff better because you can see the crystal lighting up more, even though the black one is pretty, pretty badass, I'd say. Uh, storm resistance here is mandatory. I don't know if I've gone over storm resistance too much, but it's mandatory. Or you'll, you'll die pretty easily because... He hits a lot unless you hit in the first round and kill him every time. And I did just get my pet to um, heal, so that's good. He just healed. Uh, I just got it to Epic today, and he's been healing okay. Uh, I wish he would do a little more, but it's good enough for now. And I'm failing at power pips for some reason. What did he hit? Wolf, come on, bro. You'll farm with a lot of random people just because you don't, you don't get much. Different. You get a lot. Of, you get a lot of diversity here because a lot of people farm here. Some people just wait here until someone comes and then you can go with them. Uh, I met a lot of people here that I keep on my friends list and we just farm together. So it's a fun place to go. And if you see the name, it's Half Thing Bristle Crown. I don't remember. Like I think they just nerfed it, dropping less items, uh, and also by making it so the names are different. I remember it just saying Half Thing. I don't know. I don't know if I'm wrong. Tell me. But that's all I remember. So this is one. We're done. Let's go down to... That was three. Let's go down to the bazaar and just see how much gold we accumulated from there. Uh, I think I had... I had like... Wow, that didn't work. I went home and I didn't do anything. Oh, I had like 230,000, let's say. Or 232,000. And let's see how much... I think I got like four items. It was kind of a low run. But that would be like... I think 12 or 15, 12 to 15,000 gold in under like five minutes, six minutes very very good amount it's better than just doing quests because this is a very 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 easy farming spot and i meant to mark my location let's just mark it right here instead of having to walk all the way back i recommend you marking it because it is a little long walk if you don't and you can always get mana from uh winter guard i mean what is it called north guard the spawn of grizzleheim if you need to and i recommend if you have two players uh, like my brother and I do. We one of us marks the Vestralund right here, and the other one marks in the bazaar, so we can just go back and forth with these really fast, and, and then you can sell items really well. Uh, farming two hundred thousand gold took me about uh, two hours, I think. It was like two and a half hours, and that was easy. I usually I hit max. I usually go max every day. I usually hit like five hundred thousand gold every day, which is kind of crazy, but it happens. And then I go into spending spree building houses and stuff like you just saw. Uh, I have a lot of houses, all full of stuff, so it's a good way. It's a good way just to spend money, and also it's very, 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 very helpful if you need to hatch. Uh, I do this a lot when hatching, like if I need to eat, or I need like you know some extra gold really fast. And I have like forty thousand, and then someone's like, "Oh, it's a fifty thousand dollar pet." And I'm just like, "Okay, let me just go farm one round," and I saw him get ten thousand, and then I'm back. This is no secret. I don't know why. King's Isle allows you getting gold like this. Uh, if you guys have heard of the recent bannings of the mushroom and tomato basket glitch, uh, that was, this is, it is February 2nd right now, 2014, so if you guys are watching this later, um, or earlier, just kidding, time machine. If you're watching this later in the years, or years, or time, you could, you know, you probably don't know the tomato basket mushroom glitch. Uh, they are banning for selling an item for like 28 gold 100 times and it doesn't even need half of that And why wasn't this getting banned? That's a little off topic though uh, The moxie goes for about 3,600 per thing. It was kind of a slow run so I, I could have gotten more uh, So as you can see it's a very it's a very tedious process, but it's very easy Remember what you get 
You know, usually you can get a cow's little print, uh, cow's pearl amulet, which goes for like 4,000, I mean like 8,000. Uh, so I didn't get much. I got like 10,000 right there. Uh, that's just to prove that this is one of the best. I don't know if you guys know any better place. This is, in my opinion, the best place to farm gold. If you guys want more videos on this, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you.